way I want to uh, finish up our session here is just talking about the second most popular thing that you went viral on on your YouTube channel is talking about these different zero percent, um, you know, cashback rewards, and different credit cards. You've made some very interesting videos uh, in the past where you've gone over this and was wondering if you had any you know, maybe like a, a list or your, your favorite cards that you're using right now on the uh, business side or personal. Reason why I asked this is in, in my particular space, people are looking to pay off debt extremely fast. We like to leverage sometimes 0% credit cards with no balance transfer fee. And we can sometimes move an existing car loan, let's say at five, six, 7% and move a big chunk or maybe all of it into a 0% credit card or spread it amongst maybe two or three credit cards all at 0% for like 12, 15, 18, almost as long as 21 months at literally no cost. And so we remove all the interest and now we're paying the monthly payments uh, on each of those cards or just one card. And typically if they were already making extra payments, well now you're able to make extra payments on a debt that's not charging you any interest. And usually we're able to run the math and say, okay, within 12, 15 months, this car will be done because you literally wiped out all the interest. You literally canceled, canceled it all. So wanted to uh, turn it back to you, see if you've got any, you know, in 2023, certain credit cards, I, I feel like you pay attention to this in terms of certain offers that are very unique that most people are like, wait, does that even exist? Didn't even know that was available. Anything you have to share on that? Yeah, um, for me, so for like on, on the personal side, it really depends for, for me to give recommendations. It really depends on like what people like to do. Do they like cash back? Do they like to eat out? Do they uh, like to travel? You know, um, so there's very specific reasons for any specific type of card. So I think like the best thing for like people who like to travel is to get like the Chase Sapphire Preferred, which is pretty is pretty well known, you know, but it's probably one of the best ones out there because the value of points, because I'm very large into travel hacking, which is essentially maximizing your right. points or cash back to use for free travel, right? And plus you could transfer to a lot of partners where those points can be worth way more. Um, and I also recommend uh, whenever you are applying for um, cards, especially like American Express, try to get like the highest sign up offers as possible, just due to the fact that they're once in a lifetime. Um, okay. So like the MX Gold or MX Platinum, they can go up to like 150 to like 90k on the gold are uh, those you, are the best in my opinion are you a fan of paying annual fees like are you able to make sense of paying annual fees on those cards like you said i know gold and different ones that have these annual fees of like 495 or 195 or 100 bucks whatever the case may be are you a fan of getting those for the sake of that one time offer and then never use them again or do you continue to use yes. it? Yes. So where, where do you land? I that? am a fan of that because usually the points or the sign up offer that you get usually is awesome. worth more than the annual fee. Okay. Most of the time. Um, where it becomes a little bit more tricky is usually year two, right? Because you don't get a sign up offer no more. Correct. Then you have to realize whatever benefits that card is actually giving to you. Is it actually beneficial, beneficial to your life and your lifestyle? If it's not, then downgrade it. Or if you can't downgrade it, cancel it, whatever. What does that mean deal. to downgrade um, it? What does that mean? So for instance, let's just say like the Chase Sapphire Preferred, right? That card has $95 for annual fee, right? Okay. Um, if it costs $95 a year and you really don't put that many transactions on the card after the sign up bonus, you can always request and call up Chase like, hey, I would like to downgrade my card to like a Chase Freedom Flex or Chase Freedom Unlimited, which is one of their um, more entry level credit, credit cards that don't have an annual fee. And you keep the credit line open. Ah, okay. Yeah, because in my mind, Typically I'm like, keep oh, do I want to close a brand new line? line? Yeah, because yeah, mm -hmm. that'll hurt your credit. Okay, so that's something I yeah. had no idea existed where you can downgrade your credit cards that have annual fees to a no annual fee card from the same institution, right? Correct, yes. Beautiful. Um, so those are the type of cards that I like on the personal level. Um, on the business side, I am a huge fan of like the zero APR for like 12 to 20 months or whatnot. Yep. Um, like the most recent credit card I got was uh, American Express Blue Business Plus card. I think that one has like an intro APR for 12 months, I believe. Um, and I have the Chase Business Unlimited, Inks. Those, those, all these cards that I'm saying don't have annual fees for the business side. And they yeah. usually have an intro APR of like zero percent. Um, I think another valuable play 
for your audience if they don't know is that business credit does not get shown on your personal credit, right? So if you were to get a business credit card that has a zero introductory APR, especially on balance transfers, you could always balance transfer a personal card, personal balance to a business balance, then it will clear off the debt on the personal side. And that should increase your credit score to whatever Quite a bit. play that you want to do. Upwards. Yeah, that is absolutely something that we practice here in our community here. I've got a <laughs> I got a business credit expert partner that has helped some of my clients do that. That's a strategy in and of itself. If we're simply looking to, you know, improve credit on the personal side to get approved for something like a home mortgage loan or something like that. And they want to remove some debts quickly off that name into the business. And then if I'm not mistaken, if that card doesn't get paid off in, in time and there is interest, you can still somewhat deduct that interest on the, on the business side, right? There's that possibility there. So you kind of have that window, but ideally you would want to uh, more than likely eliminate the debt for that 0% or throw it into another business card and kind of keep extending it um, in 12 yeah. month cycles from card to card. So I like that a lot. That's huge. Okay.